crafty friends, it's Jen. I'm here with five cards using the June SET sampler. This kit theme was fun and I'm just going to show you a quick look at the contents here and then I will go into more detail. So these are curated kits that are as low as $14 a month and they typically contain two collections. So this month, there's the Cartabella Craft and Create, which I'm flipping through the papers with you here, and the Doodlebug Fairy Garden Collection. So this month we received six by six pattern paper for both, as well as some cut aparts. So I'm showing you the three by four and the four by six from the Craft and Create Collection. And then for the doodle bug, we received six papers. Now these are 12 by 12 papers cut down to six by six, which is kind of fun because then the cut aparts are full size as well as the banner strips, which I used quite a few of them for my five cards today. So if you missed my last video, I recently moved. I only had time to play with the doodle bug collection. So I made five cards and oh my goodness, the video gremlins were real that day. I had a terrible time with recording. So I'm gonna make two cards with you in this video and then I'll show you the other three because those three videos were corrupt or only filmed half. It was really frustrating, but I wanted to share the cards with you. So I'm just showing you quickly here the ephemera that I got, the doodle pop, I got a little sampling of the shape sprinkles. We got a butterfly circle stencil from Hero Arts and then the acrylic exclusive word fun. So let's jump in to card number one. So I'm using MFT Sketch 41 for this. So I went way back into the earliest of sketches. I will leave a link below to the MFT sketches. I've just printed them all off and I have them in a binder and there's multiple on one page, so I find it really easy just to flip through a binder to find sketches. So for this one, I'm using the beautiful floral paper as my background. Now, the paper that I'm using as a border is from Recollections. It was a 12 by 12 pastel collection. Now, I did use this pattern paper as well. Christy Marcotte and I did a collaboration video where we made 45 cards together using the Doodlebug Fairy Garden Collection, and I will link to both those videos down below and at the end in case you received different ephemera than I did and you want some more inspiration with this collection. So I started off with the three by four card and I fussy cut around the scalloped border. I brought in the Happy Birthday Stamp by Doodlebug and I'm just going to stamp this with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink just beside her there. I did angle the three by four card because that's how it will sit on the card and I wanted the happy birthday to be straight on the card uh, once it's together. Now you can see here, I added this upside down. Thank goodness I caught it before that glue dried. My hearts were upside down. So I got that fixed and just laid my stamp block on there just to let it dry a little bit. Now for this cut apart, because a lot of it is overhanging those strips of pattern paper, I am going to add some scrap paper here. So I did a double layer and I'm going to put those on either side of my border strip going down the center. So this way everything will be nice and level on the card. I'm just using my liquid adhesive here and I will add this onto the card. Now the sketch had three little dots to the upper right hand corner, but I felt like that pattern paper was too busy for that. So I decided to bring in the shaped sprinkles, the little flowers, and I'm adding a couple of those to the bottom of the tree stump that our little fairy is sitting on. Bringing in a glitter pen here just to add some sparkle to the wings and the flowers. And here's how this card looks in comparison to the sketch. So moving on to card number two, I used the second cut apart that I received and I'm using MFT Sketch 108. So again, I'm using one of the floral pattern papers. Although this is a very whimsical collection, there are some really 
simple basic pattern paper that you can use that doesn't have the fairies or the little critters on it so these florals are really gorgeous. So I'm going to add my 3x4 cut apart here to the center of my card and I'm going to add these two little strips underneath it. So these were from the cut apart borders. I'm using the yellow polka dot and then the green striped. And I really love how this just kind of fills in that bottom portion of the card. Now I will overlap that green one just a little bit so that you can see some of that floral paper peeking out of the bottom. I'm gonna use my black glaze pen here for the eyes on the fairy and the little bird. And then I'm going to add some of the leaf shaped sprinkles on to my three by four cut apart. And I love how that turned out. So here's this card with the card sketch that I use. So for cards three and five, I did a mini slimline three by six here. And I used the sentiment, thanks so much, which is from the Lawn Fawn O oh Gnome stamp set. This second card, I used the Doodle Pop that I received in my kit. And I used MFT sketch number, I think it's 347. And I added some of the shape sprinkles to the top right hand corner there. Used the little fairy borders and the sentiment strip fairy suite on the bottom. Now for this rainbow one, I brought in the Lawn Fawn stamp All the Clouds for the Sending Smiles sentiment. And I stamped that right onto the clouds. And then, sorry, this one is 347. So I believe the other one was 286, I think. Anyways, you can slow down the video there if you want to see which sketch number those were. So here's a look, a recap of the five cards that I made today. If you have a favorite, let me know. Like I said, I will link to the video where Christy Marcotte and I did 45 cards using this collection. Here's a quick little picture of the setup that I was using for filming this video. Right after I was done these cards, everything came out of the room and I painted my new craft room and got my new Ikea desk and collax unit up, but I still need to put the room together and all my craft stuff is pretty much still in boxes. So I hope to be back soon uh, with proper lighting and no echo in my voiceover. So thanks for your patience as I get settled and I will hopefully show you around my new craft room soon. Take care everyone, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.